<laughs> That's how Lando spells. Lando's like, do you want to, I know how to spell target. And I'm like, okay, Lando, uh, spell target. Tar get. <laughs> well, you know what? It'd be a lot simpler to spell if you could spell that way. What I think I should start accenting all of our humor. Yeah. With uh, with the slide whistle. And I'll do a train whistle. <laughs> Funny one. <laughs> oh. Also, this is this is a really high whistle. Are you supposed to suck on it? How so I get that low sound. Welcome to Good Mythical More, where we we have lots of fun with whistles. I quit my job at one point. Uh, actually, that's really not true. I was fired. No, you were laid off. I was laid off. But the, but the, <laughs> but your boss. Well, I wasn't there. Why don't you tell the story? Yeah, yeah, I will. I used to work for an engineering firm. You tried to quit when he was laying you off. I think that's the. No. Okay. Did I just spoiler I, uh, alert? No, no. So here's what happened. I worked for an engineering firm that uh, designed power plants, and there was an energy crisis back in the day with Enron. If you follow these kinds of things. And the energy sector basically went under in a lot of places like my job got rid of a lot of people. So they fired or laid off every single junior engineer that they had hired at, on this one particular at this one particular time. So we all kind of knew that it was going to happen. It was just a matter of what day are you going to get called in. It wasn't due to performance. It wasn't due to people. People, all these people were good workers, if right? If that makes you feel better about yourself. It was every single person who had been hired at a certain wave got laid off. So... Okay. Um, now I already knew that I was gonna I was leaving the job, right? I knew that in December I think this was like October, and in December I was going to leave legitimately. I'm not making this up. I was going to break up with my job, but but then my job broke up with me. She didn't do it. So what happened is I got called into the room with my boss Mike, and uh, I could see it all over his face that he felt horrible. That he was this is a bad. He's a really nice guy. He liked all of us, and he was having a really bad day having to call us all into this room and fire us. And so, like, as he started kind of like trying to hem and haw and explain what was going on, I was like, Mike, Mike, listen, man, don't worry. I was going to quit anyway. So, so he's trying to lay you off, and you're like, well, well, you can't lay me off. I quit. No, that's the way that you like to tell the story. <laughs> but the fact was, is that I did, I, he felt bad. And I was like, I don't want you to feel bad. You seem like your world is falling apart because you're getting rid of all of us. Maybe other people are really upset, but I want you to legitimately know that I was going to say that I'm, I was going to give you my 30 day notice in December, beginning of December, like in like five weeks, I was going to tell you this. So no hard feelings. It's fine. Now I need to, my, the security guard to escort me out so I don't come back in here and start shooting people. Now, ooh, Rhett. Now, I'm just saying that's what they, that's what they do nowadays. Oh yeah, well, at IBM they had, um, back when I worked there, well, pre they had security guards walk everybody out. There's a, there's a whole procedure. And you have like a, you, you go back, they, they go take back to you back desk. to the desk and they stand there and they give you a box and they're like, gather your things. Yeah, security guard. And then they they walk you out because because that does happen. I mean, there are ramp, like employee rampages. Oh yeah. You know, at, at IBM there was a whole there was the whole campus. Like I mean, multiple buildings, thousands and thousands of employees, and uh, I think it was in the '80s. Some guy came back and just rampaged the place yeah, with, with like an assault rifle. That's why they they have the security guard nowadays. Yeah. So, and, but know. but it but it's it's funny that you're the totally total opposite of that woman who was like, I'm gonna make this video, shove it, boss. You're like, oh, I want, I, I, I care about your feelings in this moment. Well, I didn't feel That's that. Good. I mean, I didn't feel that way. I, I, it wasn't a job that I really believed in, and I didn't. I, I liked my, but I liked my boss. But the girl who made the 17 million view video is like, I've been working my butt off, and you don't care about what I've been doing. And you don't care about anything except how many views videos get. Well, look at this video that's got 17 million views. And so she was in that kind of business. So it was like the perfect way to transition into another another business. Or you could do like that guy. You know the guy uh, from, from Raleigh, the news anchor, who made that video about Christmas pajamas, Christmas jammies that went around that's really big uh, over Christmas? The news anchor? It's got I, like, I never saw it. It's got like 15, maybe more than that million views. Which, Christmas which jammies. Guy? Stogner? No, not a guy that you would remember. It's a guy who was a news anchor in Raleigh, but I didn't really know who, I didn't recognize him. He made a job about how he was moving on to another job 
He had already let everyone know he was quitting, but in the rap that his family does, he drops the line, uh, I'm gonna move on to make corporate videos for people. Like he gives his plug for his new job. And the thing got like 20 million views, so it probably was pretty effective. He's so, gonna make corporate videos for people? Yeah, corporate videos. He was gonna make branded videos, but the way that he phrased it was like corporate videos or something. Um, so, so that's another thing you can do. If you're gonna quit so he, your job. He plugged his new job right, if from you're gonna, his current job. If you're gonna make a music video that coincides with the quitting of your job or is you quitting your job, go ahead and put your resume in that song. You know, <laughs> and this is what I'm gonna be doing. Oh yeah. Here's my new website. That's smart. Gravycanes.com. Gravy. Gravy train. I get it now. Does she mean to do that? Gravy train. Slide plus slide whistle. <laughs> I bet a dog would like this. It's the kind of thing you give a dog and say, whoa. Where's this been all my life? I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can replicate the construction worker finds a, a woman pretty whistle. Huh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey baby, look at you. I'm gonna carry one of these around next time I'm at the construction, construction site. site. Yeah. Oh, baby. There's probably one of those. I like, it. I like that uh, pants. You know what you we could on. do? Every construction, we could sell these on construction sites. <laughs> we could be like, you, you guys can't. I mean, Get your, your you're on the pretty 14th woman floor. whistle right now. 14th floor, she can't hear you down there. Look at this. We'll, we'll throw them up there because I'm not wear, climbing. Wear it the, on the chain around your neck. 14th floor. <laughs> See you tomorrow, huh?